Yo, what's up? So you wanna make the coolest thing FX and Hyper Engineers for your little keyboard? Yeah, sure, I'll teach you how. So first, when you go into Ingenuity, you have like, you have to make a new preset, we call it. Yeah, so just click on add and click on a new one here, call it D, whatever, call it what you want. And you can go in here, so now you can see we have we have the stuck wave effect here. Um, just get rid of that. Um, the first thing you need to find is what colors you need to use for your effect. Um, you can easily do that by going to Google and searching for a color palette and finding one. Um, I found one here that is pretty cool. I think it's kind of Halloween like. So if you need want to use those colors, you can easily do that. For start here to uh, help yourself a little, just put them over in each side here so it's a little bit easier here um, I'll add an effect and uh, you always need a solid effect because um, here you have some tools to pick colors so just delete all those colors make it a little easier for yourself here so now that we have no colors here we can actually start by you know we want to have all our co colors in so just pick this one right here and then you can see we can go over here you can take this color. Now here when you have the color, it is important to look at your keyboard to check if the color actually is right. Sometimes you will need to adjust it on the little thing here. You need to make, maybe get it a little darker so the color is better. Um, we Here I don't think we need that with this specific color, but I know we are gonna need that with some of the other colors. So when you have the right color, click on the plus here, so you have the color always with you. So now you can go ahead and select another color here. Second time filming this. Um, just a quick here at the start, like um, you will be able in the program to obviously see your own keyboard. And when you hit the selection button here, you can select the buttons. Um, you can then not see me select the buttons in the software, but that that's pretty self-explanatory and should be pretty easy to do if you have more than five IQ. So let's get started here. So while I was away for a bit, I got the idea to make like a um, rain like kind of effect, um, rain dropper like with these colors. I think it could be pretty cool. So how when if you're gonna do this, how we're gonna do this is like take some of the wave effects here and then we can see we have the angle here we can hit it downwards here and uh, obviously we need to change the colors but we also need to do a selection here and then we can select the buttons here you can see as I select the buttons and um, we can kind of make it like a range so we're just gonna start with that I think and then we need the colors obviously so a good like we should have a lot of black in here to make it look like kind of raindrops or something so how we're gonna do that is have three of those here and make them black and you can always add new here just by clicking and make them black here and then we need obviously our colors I think we need to have like a big kind of area here where we have a lot of black and we don't really have colors and then we can do like I think we should do the yellow here and maybe uh, that looks pretty cool maybe we should make it a little faster here so you have speed we could also uh, also change us on the visibility here but I don't quite think we need that here I'm just gonna set it for on max for now what we can do is click right here and then we have the plus button here we can just add it as kind of here so when we go and make a new wave here effect and we can de quickly hide it here we can just click on this and maybe do it downwards like this and we should obviously had it at a different speed so it looks kind of random and some different colors I think looks pretty good to be honest and we, you know we can just do that a wave more here the selection we need around um, the F9 here, we can make it more directly down, be more like all dark colors, and make it a little thick here. And that we could make fast. Maybe that should have a lot of of more of the bright colors. Yeah, I don't think that's totally bad. I think the one that's like more thick, like it doesn't look quite as good, and it doesn't look really random. I think it. 
looks best over this side and um, we could do some some other things here um, and then there's like um, the triggered effects um, here I think the explosive one could be good maybe like um we should maybe do a bit different color that could be like kind of dark blue or something hmm. not too bad faster that was basically it for this video if you like it like it if you dislike it dislike it subscribe if you want um, I have nothing else to say. See ya.